Let's go. Let's do it, bro. <laughs> it's me, Blue Raspberry Friendy, and my best friend, Noodles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's me. Noodles. Yeah. Looking good, man. Hey, thanks, brother. Yeah. Good to hey, see you, buddy. Man. Good to see you too. Looking great. We're both Blue Raspberry. Yeah, man, and I'm having a jolly good time too. Yeah, bring your volume down just a little bit. <laughs> hey, you catch what I just did there, huh? Oh, I. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all know Jolly what? <laughs> Today, on the Bottom of the Cup show, we will be reviewing a tasty soda that is from my childhood. Flashback to the 90s! Oh, no! Yeah! Tell them what we have on the show today, Noodles. All right, man, I'll do that. So today we will be reviewing the tastiest soda. Oh. It's, <laughs> it is the blue raspberry flavored soda from... The Wisconsin-based company, Jolly Good. Oh, okay. Yeah, I tell you what, friendy. Yeah. This soda really is Jolly Good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's awesome. Man, I never had this before. Uh, you know, I used to live on Saturn until I, until I popped in a couple years back. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, you, you, you were the one who like, hey, man, try this out. Pretty good. Oh, yeah. You know I like blue raspberry tea. Or raspberry yeah. tea, I guess. And this soda really is delicious. Yes, it is. It's one of my favorite sodas from my childhood. My family took a trip to uh, Wisconsin back in the 90s and came across this soda, and I loved it. It tastes like summertime in a can. Carbonated <laughs> summertime. <laughs> well, before we keep talking about the actual soda, let's give the audience a little history on the awesome soda and brand. Go ahead, best friend noodles. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, carbonated summer, huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's get into it. Okay. So yeah, Jolly Good is a beloved soda uh, that was created in Random Lake, Wisconsin. Wow. Uh, is that a real name? Yeah, it is. Some random lake in Wisconsin. Okay. <laughs> and uh, back in 1966, it's a uh, standout and delicious variety of flavors, which they have a lot. Oh, yeah. Our, no our noted cornerstone soda for Wisconsin family gatherings and cookouts. Just like cheesy potatoes. Oh, oh my, oh, my. I love me some cheesy taters. Oh, cheesy potatoes. Birdie loves those, too. A Wisconsin cookout isn't a cookout without those. Or sausages. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm hungry. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's have a cookout. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it sounds like uh, this sounds pretty good to me, friendy. Uh, you you can play your beloved '80s jukebox oh. playlist too. <laughs> that sounds like fun. This soda, cheesy potatoes, oh sausages, and '80s music. <laughs> yeah. God yeah, bless. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. To get back to the history of Jelly Good Soda, before we fly off topic like a motorcycle on the open road. Whoa. Oh. That's you. That's me. Since its creation in 1966, Jelly Good became a well-known brand all over Wisconsin, and then saw a second surge in popularity during the 1990s and early 2000s. And now, in 2023. It is still a sought-after soda all over the country now. That is for sure. Yeah. You and Bertie got us here in the studio hooked on this soda. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We need to uh, <laughs> try some more flavors. The, you know, Jolly Good <laughs> website. Yeah. Uh, we're, we were both on there, what was that, like two weeks ago? A yeah. Week? Yep. Yeah, they offer uh, the entire their entire delicious and savory inventory from cherry, grape, to cream soda. Oh. Oh, great. Uh, I haven't had that. I'm... Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and, you know, they have it all. Uh, this soda in particular, uh, the blue raspberry, uh -huh. is definitely a, bl a blast of the past. <laughs> uh, the blue raspberry flavor is the flavor that every 90s kid remembers. Oh, Sweet yeah. Sweet and savory. Yeah. Delicious, man. I agree. There's That's... so many candies, Jolly Ranchers. Oh, yeah. Everything was blue back then. Whatever happened to the blue flavor? But yeah, that's for sure, buddy. The flavor of this soda <laughs> is magical and brings to mind fond memories of summer vacations and cookouts at the beach. It is perfectly sweet with a taste of raspberry and the iconic 90s blue flavor, like I said. 
Dare I say that this flavor would make a great soda float too? Oh wow! Oh man! Wow! That'd be amazing! Yeah! Oh yeah! Well, uh, we definitely need to try that uh, blue raspberry float. <laughs> wow! Yeah! Yeah! Like a raspberry uh, float. I really love the flavor of this soda, man. Yeah. And uh, it is perfect for a hot summer day spent gaming on my Switch. Oh. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, out in the backyard. Oh. You know, put it over a little ice. Ooh. And it's kind of like a, cause I, you know, I got the, the crushed ice. Yeah. You know what that means? That's his favorite. Get that blue icy or slushy kind of go thing oh, going on. That, oh, that sounds good, guys. We're gonna have to try all these recipes. That sounds great. Yeah. All right, great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we can't just, we can't get enough of this soda no. at all. It's, it's become our favorite, but we really need to branch out <laughs> and try, <laughs> try some other flavors. But anyway, okay, this flavor is delicious. And? And for those of you out there who are worried about caffeine, no. this soda's caffeine free. Oh. Uh, you know, obviously it has sugar in it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the uh, flavor alone will give you all the energy you need, man. <laughs> That's right, Noodles. Uh, I can feel my energy rising. Energy rising. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you say we both give this soda a try? Go ahead. All right. Well, uh, are we going to try this off camera? What are we doing? Oh, just put your nose in there and take a take a sip. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He has not open though, so I can't, I can't osmosis it. I'm not magic for anything. Come on. <laughs> oh, you're supposed to, no, oh, crowd. He's supposed to go with it. It's called movie magic. Well, oh, he ruined I'm it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> but uh, all that aside, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Trendy. <laughs> <laughs> I worked so hard on the script. He's supposed to just, oh, come on. Oh, How did you do that? That's good. Bigfoot magic. But it doesn't work for me, man. Bippity. Oh. Okay. Bippity. Oh. All right. Boom. Boom. Oh. <laughs> oh. Good. <laughs> That's enough. No more. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh. oh, so delicious. Don't do it. Oh. The raspberry noodles. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We love this soda, guys. <laughs> All right. Well, let's give this tasty beverage our rating, Noodles. Yeah. <laughs> we should do that. <laughs> I'm just messing around, having a good time. But it's anyways, a... yeah, for a new, let's do that. All right. I am definitely giving Jolly Goods Blue Raspberry Soda a big old thumbs up. What do you say, buddy? Hey, me too, Frankie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving it as, as uh, you have to say all the thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> well, y'all, there you have it. I think that we made a day of this review. Thanks, Jolly Good, for making such delicious soda and for making my childhood special. And thank you, audience, for tuning in to another episode of the Bottom of the Cup Show. Yeah, and don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to our channel. Yeah. Sign up for our notifications so you don't miss an episode. Thanks, yeah. everybody. Keep your mugs full. And your hearts fuller. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I didn't turn this damn thing off. That was me. fun. Thanks for watching, y'all. Yeah. Uh, More soda for me. Yes. Like, what? No. Uh, <laughs>